what's going on guys just wanted to just give you some first thoughts on forza horizon just a couple things uh this race really isn't that long so just a couple things that i want to talk about first of all this is a race with the ferrari 458 spider which is the convertible version of the 458 italia uh, it's also just a little bit slower than the italia with a top speed of 198 the italia has a top speed of i think it's 202 or 203 anyways this race here is surprisingly pretty clean which is near impossible with the ai <laughs> uh, which is one of the things that i want to talk about the ai especially in the higher difficulties is really annoying they are dumb and reckless and it's more than certain that you will trade paint with every single car on the grid even when you think you've made a clean pass they find some way to kick you on the way out the door i don't know what it is um the ai is just not the same as it is in forza motorsport the ai in forza motorsport is programmed to run the circuit in a set amount of time which depends on the difficulty you set it to. The higher the difficulty, the better the time. In Forza Horizon, they have more arcadish characteristics. They, they rubber band, which means they wait for you to catch up, and then once you pass, they speed up behind you. Uh, they love to ram into you, they block you, they break for no reason. If you're directly behind, they will, <laughs> they will drive you insane, pun intended. Um, but I, I, I try not to take this game too seriously. And once I did that, I was able to have a lot more fun with it. It's not a bad game by any means. In fact, it's really good. And I'm excited that it's on the market. For so long, EA and the Need for Speed series have dominated this genre. But not anymore. Now people have a choice to roll with a better, classier arcade racer and a healthy alternative to Need for Speed. I feel like EA is really going to have to rethink their strategy now with Horizon in the mix. So, uh, so I managed to pull out the win there with minimal contact. I was, you know, I was pretty, pretty happy with this race overall. The other thing I want to talk about is these replays here. Uh, I was really looking forward to editing races with cockpit cam and replays like I normally do, but the replays are a lot different compared to Forza Motorsport. The replays in Forza Motorsport are very cinematic, nice pan and zoom with long shots that show the environment and surrounding cars, but in Horizon all the shots are really tight, weak pan and zoom. It's, it's a bit odd, and it might as well not even be included because, I don't know, I can't see anything. Not sure why, because the visuals are stunning. The environment and backdrops are perfect for it. Only thing I can think of is that maybe it was too demanding for the hardware? Mm, I don't know, but maybe it'll be fixed in a future update. But in any case, it's just... A little unfortunate so uh, that's just a couple thoughts I had so far on the game please leave your comments below let me know what you guys think and hope you enjoyed this video and take care this is Nizu talk to you later